Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Noah, back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I, I help people awaken to their true abilities through wellness and spirituality. And today I kind of got a message to... I didn't get a message, but I asked... I pretty much asked my spirit guides if they had an idea or a message for the collective. And they wanted me to speak on the true power that women hold you know i think that it's it can be i think that we can kind of overshadow some of the great qualities of women because we're shown we're shown um a lot of how women look like and um so our idea of women can be very over sexualized and um and that kind of you know that can take away a lot of the power that women actually hold you know um you know, whether we like it or not, we call, you know, Mother Nature, Mother, Mother Gaia, you know what I mean? Um, and some people like to say that God was like a guy or whatever, but, you know, she, God could have been a woman, you know, we, we just don't really know. Um, I don't, I believe that God doesn't really have a gender. Like, I believe that God is genderless. Um, But yeah, so I think it's important to kind of see and, you know, it can be hard to kind of see past how um, women look because we're shown just this, this over-sexualized version of how women should look like. And, um, you know, and so I think that that kind of takes away the power that um, of all the other great qualities that they possess, you know as well as you know the sexual abuse and um the sex trafficking that goes on it's just you know it's really unfortunate obviously and uh, um you know if women really did realize how powerful they were you know they could make huge changes you know um Shout out to uh, Mary Baker Eddy, but she was actually, she founded a whole religion on Christian science just based off of um, her beliefs. You know, she, she founded Christian science back in like the, I think it was like mid to late 1800s. Um, don't quote me on that. It could have been early 1800s, but um yeah, she pretty much founded Christian science back when, you know, women didn't really have any power, you know. Um, they didn't really, they didn't possess really anything. Or not that they didn't possess the power, but um, you guys like my bright yellow shorts, by the way. Aren't they cute? But, um, yeah, back when a time, back at a time where you know, women had a lot less power than they were in, like, way less control than, you know, how much control that they have now. So it's just, like, if every woman or if a lot of women realized that type of power that they have, that they hold, then they would really be able to, to you know, they'd be able to really make a difference and um, within their own lives and within the lives of other people, you know. And luckily, we're moving in an age where we're starting to realize how powerful women really are, and um, which is really a good thing. But yeah, they just, you know, women can reproduce by themselves. They don't need men. Um you know, we need women to have a kid, but women don't really need us to have a kid. You know what I mean? So, and if you don't believe me, look it up. It's an actual thing. They can, they don't really need kids. Um, <laughs> I was talking to um, my best friend, Imani. Um, and 
and uh, she was telling me how there is a way that where women can kind of take their own DNA and create a like kid a baby from it you know it's all like they can only make like girls they can only like produce like girl children but I'm sure that they could have guy children too without men you know but yeah so it just you know it's I think it's really awesome how how powerful they are but I also think that it's not powerful how over sexualized they are as well um and that how there's a certain image tainted towards you know them and like what they should do and all of this stuff and it's because men you know men do everything that they can to silence women you know what I mean just in terms of like politics and everything like that it's really upsetting because like yeah I just yeah that's why I'm not a huge person that's why I'm not a huge um political guy because I I think that if politics you know if I just I feel like if it was based on the vote and stuff like that like I feel like we'd already have a woman president um but you know nonetheless you know we had we had a woman who literally created her own religion and founded Christian science you know what I mean back in like the 1800s so it's like why wouldn't there have been a woman president by now right but um yeah so that's gonna be my video guys I kind of just wanted to I felt called to make this video about how powerful women really are and yeah I just wanted to give credit to women because they're very powerful you know um and I think that a lot of the times we can kind of overshadow them and uh you know with with all the sexual abuse and everything you know it's easier for us to look at them as victims you know what i mean um as opposed to being of power you know um and having a lot of power and so yeah that's where i'm gonna end it here guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video so much um and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. As well as if you have any suggestions on certain videos that you want me to make, feel free. I'm always open to suggestions. Um, and thank you guys so much for the support. My channel keeps growing day by day, and I'm very grateful for that. And, you know, it's just, it, uh, it makes me happy because I really enjoy making these videos for you guys kind of sharing my truth, my opinion, as well as, you know, getting your feedback and stuff. So thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful afternoon, morning, or night, wherever you guys are at. And peace, love, and happiness, y'all.